economy has been stripped of its triple A credit rating. And to tell us what this means, we are joined in the studio by Dr. Kurt Ullman from the University of Salford Business School. Good morning. Hello, good morning. So what has caused the fall in the business? Well, Moody's has reappraised, I suppose, the UK's ability to pay its sovereign debt. Um, I suppose this has been um, on the cards for some while now. Um, the UK government has had a lot of rhetoric around its ability to repay the current UK deficit or borrowing, which is about £1.1 trillion. And Moody's, as you say, has stripped it from the AAA status to the AA1. In one sense, it may not make a huge difference um, because the markets have already been anticipating this for a while. But it's probably un um, likely that the other two credit rating agencies will downgrade the UK's ability. <clears throat> the AAA status was, I suppose, um, important in one sense because it put us in quite an elite club. Um, Germany and Canada are the only other two countries in the world which have a AAA status. And um, the US was downgraded in 2011 and so was France too. So I suppose it just reflects a wider sentiment of perhaps uh, a longer and more protracted period of austerity in the UK. Brilliant. And um, what, effect, what effect will it have on the UK economy? Well, I suppose it's a sort of twofold in one sense. Um, it won't really affect um, the UK economy that much, although it may make exports slightly cheaper as, as sterling is devalued. Um, for a consumer-led uh, recovery, it will make it slightly more prob problematic because okay. imports will be slightly more expensive. Um, but I think the, um, the person on the street won't really notice that much of a difference, if I'm honest. Right, OK. So, and um, how will this affect the City of London as the financial centre? Well, really, I suppose this is not re a reflection of the City of London as, a UK, as the globe's uh, leading financial hub. It's more a reflection of the sentiment or the ability of the UK um, government to repay its sovereign debt. Um, I think in terms of a financial hub, the only implication may be if there's a continued devaluation devalu of sterling, it may affect um, investors' ability to sort of see the UK as a good safe bet long term. But I think in the short term, it won't really make that much difference. And if investors don't invest with us, I mean, how's that going to affect us? Well, it affects us in a number of ways. Obviously, the financial services sector in the UK is um, a significant proportion of our GDP. It's a place where um, all of us get our pensions from in terms of the future. So we need investors to support the sort of products that the City of London provides. And, and like I say, it is a global uh, home for financial trading and financial services. So it, it does have a big impact in terms of the GD economy more widely. OK, and the uh, budget's going to be announced next week. I mean, what do you predict is going to happen? Well, um, th like with all uh, uh, budgets, there'll be some areas where obviously probably income tax will rise. What we will see is uh, a squeezed middle. So those families on middle income will see uh, a small increase in uh, income tax. Higher rate income tax earners will ha see a drop uh, of about 5% in terms of income tax from 50% to 45%. I suppose the hardest hit may be those on benefits or low income, where there'll be a 1% rise, um, oh sorry, a 2.7% fall in terms of income in that sort of sector really. So. Okay, and, and do you think we could regain from this and, and gain our uh, AAA rating back? Yes, I mean it was about 1970 that the UK um, last had a sort of, um, I think a double A rating. Uh, I think it will probably take about 8 to 10 years before we can get that back, just because of the UK government haven't been able to get borrowing under control. As we've seen, uh, last year there was about £112 billion worth of um, investment required to prop up the sort of government finances. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be quite a protracted period of austerity, probably. OK. And uh, Vince Cable, the Business Secretary, um, said that the fall, uh, sorry, the, um, the stripping us of our AAA rating was uh, largely symbolic. I mean, what do you think about that? He's right to some extent, but had we been able to maintain it, I'm sure Vince would have been saying that it shows that their austerity measures are working. Um, like I say, I think the markets have already uh, incorporated that into their calculations in terms of cost, cost of capital to the UK government. Um, I think it would have been nice to have re retained it, but um, unlikely given the sort of um, circumstances yeah. really. And um, obviously the reason we're here today is comic relief. I mean, do people have the money to support charities? Um, 
Yes, I mean, I think uh, I was working with some charities yesterday and they're all concerned about, um, I think they've been hit hardest by the sort of, uh, public spending cuts. And um, they are looking, I suppose, uh, to the UK public to sort of support them generously and also uh, UK PLC as well. Probably mm -hmm. in the UK, um, corporates provide about 5% of income to charities, whereas in the US, it's much higher. So I think there's scope for UK PLC to get behind uh, charities as well and support them in a broader sort of CSR sense, you know, a corporate social responsibility uh, sense. Okay. Okay. Brilliant. Thank you very much. No problem.